what I'm doing is I'm searching on euangelion, and two G's are pronounced NG in Greek, because as I was getting ready to do something else, I chanced to cross a verse in somewhere in Paul, I don't remember now where it is, I'm going to find it, and he, it, it, the translation that you see in English Bibles for euangelion is uh, gospel, they always translate it that way. And it's become sort of somewhat of a buzzword in Christianity. So when we hear it, we're always thinking it's the salvation, the message of salvation. That's not how the Bible is using it. Um, so this word study is to show how the Bible actually uses the word. So what you're going to see on the screen in front of you, hopefully by now, is the word search. What I did is I just picked the I just picked the verse that I initially had, which we're gonna find again. And in Bible works you can just right click and search on the root. So all the occurrences in the Bible of Euangelion in all of its morphology, in other words the case endings, shows up. And there are total you can see it in the bottom of the screen, there are a total of seventy four verses and in this particular case I got a total of 77 hits, which means that there's some duplication. Um, and so I'm just going through them to see how the Bible uses the term. Okay, first uh, verse is um, 2 Samuel 4.10. I gotta pull the screen down so you can see the English. See the, the verb, the, the words highlighted there, that's euangelia. And it's, it means good news. It often means something official, but that's not the exclusive use of it. It's like the word salvation. There's so many words in the Bible that Christians take only to mean one way, and that's never the way the Bible does it. And if you don't know how the Bible does it, you really don't know what you're looking at when you read a verse. So you have to look pan Bible at the word study. Okay, so here we got Euangelia, and it's in Second Samuel 4.10. And it's that story about the guy who was the opportunist and he basically robbed uh, Saul's body with the crown and everything thinking that he'd get a reward if he brought the news of Saul's death to David. So the guy was really a bad guy. And that's why David had him killed. So that's what Second Samuel 4.10 is about. Notice how Euangelia has nothing to do with the gospel there. It's just, it's just good news. Well, he thought it was good news. David's being very sarcastic in that verse. Okay, after that we're all in New Testament. So next we're looking at Matthew 